In this video, I will explain how to set up the CX350 for RTSP streaming with Wi-Fi. In order to connect the camera over Wi-Fi, the AJWM50 Wi-Fi dongle is needed. In this video, I used VLC Media Player as the streaming receiver. As you can see in the diagram, the VLC pulls the streaming from the camera. The first step is configuring the network setting. CX350 supports a variety of connection types. In this video, I will show you how to set up with Wi-Fi. Please watch my other videos for other connection types. First, connect the AJWM50 Wi-Fi dongle to the camera. Open Menu, Network, Device Select. Select WLAN. Then go to WLAN Property, Type, and select Infra Select. Then go to SSID. The camera lists available Wi-Fi networks. In this video, I chose a 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi network called test underscore Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz. WM50 also supports 5 GHz Wi-Fi. As you can see here, test underscore Wi-Fi uses WPA2 AES encryption. So select WPA2 AES in the encryption menu. As you can see, WPA2 AES is selected for the encryption menu. Then input the encrypt key for the selected SSID. Then IPv4 setting. In this video, I set DHCP off and enter the IP address manually. I set the camera IP address as 192.168.0.35. When you close the menu, you should be able to see the Wi-Fi icon at the top right of the screen. The next step is the RTSP setting on the camera. Open Menu, Network, Network Function, and select Streaming. Then go to Streaming, and set the streaming protocol to RTSP. You can select a streaming format from a variety of choices. In this video, I chose 1080 6 Mbps. In the RTP setting menu, you can set listen port. The default is 554. When you close menu, you should be able to see the streaming icon at the top right of the screen. Next step is the RTSP setting on the VLC Media Player. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the VLC Media Player pulls the streaming from the camera. You need to set a URL on the VLC. Select Media, Open Network Stream, and input the network URL. The rule is RTSP colon slash slash the camera IP address in this video, it's 192.168.0.35 slash stream. If you use the default port 554, you do not need to specify the port number in the URL. Click play, then the streaming starts. If you set a different port number, for example, 50,000, you need to specify it in the URL. The URL is RTSP colon, slash, slash, the camera IP address, colon, port number 50,000, slash, stream. Lastly, let's start RTSP streaming over Wi-Fi. The left side of this screen shows the SDI out from the CX350, and the right side shows the VLC media player. Type the network URL and then click play. 
the streaming starts. You can see the broadcast mark on the streaming icon. As you can see, the streaming is slightly delayed from the SDI out, which is to be expected. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check the other videos for CX350's different streaming capabilities.